Hello and welcome to this week's edition of CTN Community Update. A trial run proves to be a big success for teens in the city. After the teen center in the Riverwind building closed last year, a local nonprofit stepped up in its place. As CTN's Jennifer Anderson shows us, participation among middle and high school students is up since youth first began offering free programs for kids in Coon Rapids. I think youth first is a safe place for kids. On this day, the game is Pictionary. Nice. Red team's got four. But this free summer program for middle and high school kids has goals far bigger than games. Education is a huge part of what we do. Um, ultimate goal is to get kids to and through graduation. Amanda Sapa is the executive director of Youth First Community of Promise. The small nonprofit will serve more than a thousand kids this year. Youth First offers free after school and summer programs to kids in Andover, Anoka, Ramsey, and now Coon Rapids. After a one year trial, the Coon Rapids City Council officially approved a partnership with Youth First in June. Our first year in Coon Rapids was unbelievably successful. Um, in part because we had a full-time staff member who was dedicated to Coon Rapids. And so she spent half of her time at Coon Rapids Middle School and half her time at Coon Rapids High School. The goal, build friendships with kids who may not know where else to turn. And so if a kid comes to us and they trust us and they say, this is what I've got going on at home and I need some help, then we know who to go to. It starts with fun. Get it, get it, get it. Mainly just like the atmosphere. Just because there's a lot of friendly people that go here and just fun things to do here and we have activities. If you're like a trouble kid, um, it's like people that are not in trouble. They can like help you be like a friendly person. And when kids leave, they are hopefully headed toward a successful future. But the kids that we work with, it's a huge impact on them. You know, they need us. And it's, it's really important that Youth First continues to be around for these kids and continues to be around for the kids who are coming up behind them. For CTN Update, I'm Jennifer Anderson. The City Council committed $10,000 to Youth First last year and another $20,000 this year. Those dollars come from the money saved by closing the Riverwind Teen Center. There's a fun event for kids planned next week at several Anoka County libraries. BMX stunt rider Rich Weber will do a 45-minute program at three different libraries on July 31st. 10.30 a.m. at the Crooked Lake Library, 12.30 p.m. at the Northtown Library, and 2.30 p.m. at the Mississippi Library. He'll talk about bike safety and show some awesome bike tricks. A partnership between the Anoka County Library System and the Statewide Health Improvement Partnership is making the bicycle stunt shows possible. The city is still looking for election judges for the upcoming primary and general elections. Judges are paid $11 an hour and work from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Election Day. If you're interested in serving, there's an application form on the city's website. The primary election is August 14th and the general election takes place November 6th. One, two, three. It's official. Sutton Honda held a groundbreaking ceremony on Thursday for the new car dealership they are constructing in the Gateway Commerce Center off Highway 10 and Hanson Boulevard. The walls are going up on Honda's 56,000 square foot building, which is adjacent to the McDonald's restaurant. Phenomenal day. Really, really excited to be part of the Coon Rapids community. Uh, our family's been in the retail car business for over 28 years, and we are very, very excited about being in Coon Rapids, Minnesota. A marked crosswalk will be added across Gateway Drive for access to the inventory lot, but the dealership is not expecting a lot of pedestrian traffic. Nissan will also be constructing a new dealership just to the west of the new Honda. Nissan currently has a facility on the north side of Highway 10 near Round Lake Boulevard. A new gym has opened its doors in the Riverdale area. Experience Fitness has taken over the space formerly occupied by Gordman's and Rainbow Foods. The facility is 45,000 square feet and features more than 100 machines, weights, classes, a pool, and more. Experience Fitness is also planning to open a new gym this fall in the old Kmart building across from Northtown Mall. Also in the Riverdale area, there's a new dining option Kyoto Sushi recently opened in a new multi-tenant building across from Home Depot. The Japanese restaurant features a variety of options, along with all-you-can-eat lunch and dinner buffets. In addition to Coon Rapids, Kyoto Sushi has six other locations 
in the Twin Cities metro area. The streets of downtown Anoka turned into a food lover's paradise last weekend. For the second straight year, dozens of food trucks lined up to offer flavors from around the world. CTN's Dan Carpenter shows us what was on the menu at the Anoka Food Truck Festival. We had to be here at 9 o'clock. For the last six years, Tiki Tim's has sold tropical inspired cuisine from a truck. Uh, fish tacos, crab cake. It joins more than 45 others on the streets of Anoka. Right, thank you very much. Each selling something a little different. Alrighty, scoop a monster cookie. All guaranteed to be delicious. We've got so many different types of food out here. It's crazy. By noon, the lines were stacking up. Absolutely, this is a Anoka, oh! <laughs> It's the Anoka Food Truck Festival, and as you can see, we're a lot more than just food trucks. The hard part is deciding what to try. We're standing right here next to the uh, place that sells cookie dough, just only cookie dough. Two scoops of choco chip. There were 15 more options this year. Just cookie dough, people eat it at home, they eat it out of the tube, so we figured might as well just bring it right to the people. The Food Truck Festival is all about finding good food and having fun, but it also helps find meals for those who can't get them so easily. The festival has teamed up with Feed My Starving Children. So they get to help children around the world. Every time they buy a water, we're gonna feed five kids with that. Since it's an event that's based so heavily on food, we thought why not a, why not a beautiful tie-in to actually give meals away um, you know, by participating in this event. A festival on wheels. <laughs> fueling families and businesses. It, it's fun and hopefully it'll lead us to a restaurant one day. Dan Carpenter for CTN Update. <laughs> Last year, the Food Truck Festival raised enough money to provide more than 100,000 meals in one of 70 countries around the world. This year it expects to exceed that amount. Beer is on the menu at a special fundraiser for the Nucleus Clinic, a nonprofit community clinic offering affordable sexual health and medical care. The event will take place Wednesday, August 1st from 5 to 9 p.m. at Indeed Brewing in Northeast Minneapolis. Along with craft beer and food, there will be bingo, trivia, and door prizes. There's also a raffle for two tickets to see the hit musical Hamilton in Minneapolis. 100% of the evening's proceeds will be donated to the Nucleus Clinic. Some of the best senior golfers in the world will be descending on Blaine next week for the final 3M championship in the North Metro. The Tournament Players Club of the Twin Cities is once again hosting the tournament, which runs July 30th through August 5th. Minnesota native Tom Lehman will be competing, along with many other big names. Admission and parking are free. If you can't make it out to the TPC, you can catch championship play live on the Golf Channel. Proceeds from the tournament benefit Alina Hospitals in the Twin Cities. Then, of course, this is the final 3M championship. Uh, the PGA event will be here starting next year, right around the 4th of July. So we look forward to that. That's going to do it for us today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here again next week.